Hello everyone. Browsing for WhatsApp connector module will help you to send quotation, sales order, invoice, bill, RFQ, purchase order directly to the client or vendor WhatsApp. User can easily send an PDF of the sales, purchase, invoice, inventory document using the URL manually or automatically. After installing this module, now let's complete the user setup. So for that, we need to get into the settings. Here under user and companies, now let's get into the users. For WhatsApp, we have some access rights. You can see that WhatsApp feature, CRM, sales, stock, purchase, as, as well as we can send and quick message. So these are the access rights that we have. Now let's complete the automatic WhatsApp configuration. So for that, we need to get into the general settings. Here you can see an option for WhatsApp configurations. Okay. So here we need to add an WhatsApp token and as well as the instance ID. So after this, you can see an option to enable an automatic message for the quotation invoice as well as the delivery. Then after enabling these option, we can see an option to link your WhatsApp. Here you will get an QR code by scanning that it will connect Odoo with your WhatsApp. In this way, we can make use of this module to send an WhatsApp message automatically. After completing this WhatsApp configuration, now let's check the flow of the module. Now let's jump into the CRM where we can see an option for WhatsApp. Now let's get into the leads. So here in this lead page, you can see an option for an WhatsApp icon. So once you click on that, it will show an option to add and recipients and also a message. So here I have added the message. Here you can see I have added a star. Okay. So if we add and star, it will be in bold. So you can see here use star under the uh, before and after the text to make the text bold like the same way if you need an uh, option for italic you can use an underscore and you can use this option okay to add a blank line and you can use this option to give the space and under the preference you can add the signature okay this will be the short note now let's click on the send option after clicking on the send option it will directly lead us to the whatsapp page here you can see a message will be there in this particular chat. Now let's click on the send option. You can see it will be in the bold and also it will be in the italic. Like the same way you can see the same option in the pipeline as well. So for example, let's get into one of the pipeline where you can see an option for WhatsApp icon. So it will send a message to the each person which we have selected. Okay. And now let's get into the sales. So here in the sales, you can see an option for send by WhatsApp. Also, we can send an message directly to the WhatsApp. If you click on the send by WhatsApp, where you can see a default message will be there. If needed, you can just add a message over here. With the help of the node, you can create a new message. And if you need to add some attachments, you can just add attachments over here. And if you click on the send option, it will directly lead us to the WhatsApp. So here in this WhatsApp page, you can see an content where you can see the order number and the amount and you can see the product, okay, quantity, price. And here you can see an option for downloading the report, okay, which is an URL. Now let's send this to this particular person. You can see the content over here. Now like the same way, if you get into the backend, now here you can see the directs in WhatsApp. Once you click on that, it will directly send the WhatsApp message without any changes so if you click on this option it will allow us to ask some changes over here but if you click on the direct send whatsapp it will directly send a message to the whatsapp so from here if you need you can just change the content over there now let's check the flow of an automatic send message so for that let's create one uh, new quotation where i need to add the product as well as the customer okay so after adding this, now you can see an option to confirm. While confirming the quotation, while confirming the delivery order, while confirming the invoice, it will directly send a message through the WhatsApp to that particular client. Okay, now let's check the WhatsApp. So here in this page, you can see the order will be here. So like the same way you can see the delivery order once you have validated it. 
So like the same day, if you confirm the particular delivery order, it will send a message through the WhatsApp. You can see that too. And like the same way, let's get into the invoice. And here I'm going to confirm the invoice. Now it will send a WhatsApp message to the customer which we have added in the customer bar. So now let's get into the WhatsApp. You can see the WhatsApp content will be available here. It will send a WhatsApp message to the customer. And also we have an option to send it by manual way. Now let's get into the customer. So for this customer, you can see the amount due. So for this, you can use a WhatsApp option to remind them that you have an amount due of 11133. Okay, now let's click on the WhatsApp. So here you can see your remaining balance will be N 133 paid. So this will be the content and here you can see the signature of it. Now you can send this to the client. So this will help use it to send an amount due through WhatsApp. And like the same way you can see an option for purchase. You can see an option to send by WhatsApp also. You can see an option to send directly by WhatsApp. And here you can see the same in the invoices like bills as well as the customer invoices. Okay, so here you can see that and as well as in the same in the bill, you can see the same option. Not only here, you can see the same in the payment as well. So if you create some payment, you can just send the same through WhatsApp. Okay and you can see the quick whatsapp option where you can select and uh, recipients and here we need to add a message so here you can add a message and if you click on the send option it will directly send a message to that particular person which we have added and also we have an option to see all the whatsapp histories in sales purchase invoice bills payments where you can see the chatter. In the chatter, we can see all the WhatsApp messages that we have sent to the customers or vendors. So in this way, we can make use of this module to help you to send quotation, sales order, invoice, bill, RFQ, purchase order directly to the client or vendor WhatsApp. If you have any queries regarding this video, you can ask in the comment box. We will definitely solve your queries. And if you feel this video is helpful to you, you can like this video and subscribe our YouTube channel for more Odoo related updates. Thanks for watching.